Okay, uh, so let's see a demo that how we can run the pmins uh, in Ripe Miner. So um, let's first uh, create a new folder. Uh, let's call it uh, Lecture 10. Okay, and the data we are going to use is uh, the hot price label. So I believe we have used this data set many times in the previous labs or the lectures. So you just need to find out any the like the data from any of those from any of those labs and also drag that one to uh, uh, to an empty uh, uh, process and let's run this one uh, so here we can see we have the house type bedroom bathroom built-in a uh, lot size area and also price etc uh, so let's now select uh, attributes uh, so let's say we want the year that house been built and also price. Okay, so we, we just want those two uh, data set. And if we create a scan plot, so here we can see that here we have price um, and also year that house been built. Okay, so on this two dimensional space. Uh, so now if we perform a clustering, so here let's say we type k means and we choose the first one, so k means. And so the first one will give you the model and the second one will give you the clustered result. Okay. Uh, in this k mean analysis, you can choose the keys. Again, the keys is predefined, so you can choose one, two, three, four, or five. Um, and you can see that most people, most right mind users, and they prefer them that one to four. Okay, so let's just use five and let's run it. And now you can see that uh, we have five clusters uh, based on that house being built and its price. And if we go to the visualization, you can see that the first group, okay, cluster one. Are the purple ones and also cluster two, cluster four, and cluster zero, and also the blue one, cluster three. Okay, uh, so you can see basically that you can see the price is uh, is the most important consideration when um, when they group those um, data set um, together. And if you look at the model. So now you can see that we, we do have five clusters. Uh, it starts from zero. And we can see that the, the cluster three has 400 items. So that is one that has the most number of items. Um, and if we look at the centroid table, so we can see that for each single clusters, where are the means? Okay, or where are the centroids? Okay. Uh, if you're interested, you can also see the plot. So that is basically that show you the uh, position uh, of the centroid of the building and also the centroid for the price. Okay, and we can see that for this cluster, uh, the price is the highest, the centroid is the biggest, uh, and also for the yellow ones, the, the price is the lowest, and also the centroid is the smallest. Okay, uh, remember that for keying clusters, uh, we can actually bring multiple dimensions. So for example, here. Um, if we choose all the other uh, feature like area, bedroom, uh, bathroom, and also lot size. Okay. And uh, let's also uh, normalize all the values because we know that for the price, it has huge range. But for the number of bedrooms, also bathrooms, it's just one, two, three, four, so those small numbers. So. Let's choose normalize. And we say we want to normalize all the features so that all the values will be between within a zero and a one. Okay, so that is normalize. And next, let's choose we also want to visualize those clusters. So if we still type K means, and we can see now the record money has this very nice feature called cluster model visualizer. So let's bring it here. And it requires the model, so let's connect model to the model. It also requires the clusters, so let's cl connect cluster to cluster. 
And now let's say we want to see the visualization and also we also want to see the models. Okay, so in this case, we are going to create pinions of five clusters based on six features. And we will normalize the features. We are using five keys and we also want to visualize the result. So let's run it. Okay, first the models. So in this case, we can see cluster one has the most number of the features. And if you look at the graph, so that basically see that the initial records and also how many records are assigned to each single cluster. So number one has the most number of the records. And now if we see the central table, and we can see that for all the uh, so this will be the high dimensional space where we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six dimensions and also uh, those centroid. And if you look at the plot, because we normalized the results, so all the numbers are between, um, okay, not the zero and the one. So they are, they are within the same range, I would say. Uh, so you can see that, uh, um, for this green one, so that is probably the cluster one, I guess it has lower year that has been built. Uh, however, uh, that's here, it has higher of the price. Okay, so those are the old house but have high price. Okay, and uh, if you look at this red one, red one is cluster four, so those are built in the most recently because it has high values in the year that has been built, but it has low price, okay? So that's very interesting. Um, and if we look at the visualizations, we can see that, okay, so for cluster one, the, the, the lot size is smaller, the price is on average smaller, uh, the bedroom is also smaller. Uh, for cluster four, the lot size is larger, the area is smaller and also price is also smaller. And if you look at the heat map, and we can see for cluster twos, it has larger areas and also it has a uh, larger price. Um, and for cluster one, it has smaller lot size. And cluster three also has smaller lot size. And the central part is similar as we saw uh, from the model and they also provide this scat plot which you can help you focus on different clusters okay so for example for the cluster one you can see um the amount concentrated here for the smaller lot size and also for lower price okay so we now have a, a general idea of the teamings so let's talk about the limitations the first limitation is, is definitely that there is no right keys. So because we don't know the right labels, we don't have right labels, so uh, there's no right keys. And also, if you choose different keys, the result will be different. Okay? So this is very, very arbitrary, and uh, there's, unfortunately, there's no right keys. So the result can be very subjective. And also the key means can only capture relatively simple shapes, okay? Uh, so for example, if you have a data set like this, and clearly if we human eyes will um, classify, we will see that as uh, one cluster, and also this will be another cluster. And unfortunately, for key analysis, they cannot tell that difference, so they will still uh, put that one into two groups like this. So this will be a one cluster and this will be another cluster. Um, and also key means assume that all clusters has the similar diameter. Okay, uh, so that uh, they draw the boundary between those clusters. Okay, exactly in the middle of those each cluster. So for example, here and uh, so they draw the boundaries exactly between those clusters. So this may not be ideal, unfortunately. So uh, if we are going to define the clusters, probably we'll all do like, like this. And this probably will be another group, so something like that. However, uh, in key means, it will always draw the boundaries between clusters to be 
exactly in the middle. Okay, so that is also another limitation. And also, uh, key means also assume that all directions are equally important. So for example, here, uh, again, if we if human is going to classify the data, probably will look like this is one cluster, this will be one cluster, and this will be another one. However, key means does doesn't care about directions, so instead they group this one as one cluster, on this as a, another one, and this is another one. Okay, so uh, k-mean is the most popular one, and also simplest one, and there are also other types of the clustering algorithms that you can choose, uh, So and, and also those are the demos. So for example, so if the direction is very important, and you may not choose key means, but instead you can choose like, um, uh, in this case, I probably will choose this one and also probably this one. DB scan is also another very famous one. Okay, uh, so there are also other uh, options that you can use, you can choose.